Good day, Sven the Slayer here once again, and welcome back to Star Maid. This will be episode 6 of my Practical Logic series, and in today's episode I'm going to be going over docking. Now, working with docking and logic is very straightforward. In order to get a signal from a docking module, and this works with both turret docks and um, hard points, regular docks, um, the standard docking module, you just put an activator next to the module and whenever a ship is docked it'll be blue and when the ship is not docked it'll be orange low so docked ship high output no docked ship low output so and then you can just invert that and you know make some indicator lights if you would like um, and anytime a ship is undocked it'll toggle the activator. It should note that if you manually remove a core it may not always detect the uh, that state change. I've had it where I remove the core and that dock still thinks that there is a ship dock there so I can't actually dock anything back to it. So just be wary of that if you pull the core off the dock manually by picking it up, it may not work. Another handy feature of this is whenever a core is destroyed, it should automatically detect that the core is no longer docked. So let's just destroy this core. I guess I should have given myself a bigger gun. There we go. Overheating. Uh, I think if I do this... Yep. So. As soon as the core disappears, uh, indicates it it is no longer docked. So, if you want, you can have indicator lights um, indicating that which turrets are missing on your ship. So, if you have a ship with a lot of turrets, you can have lights for each individual turret, and that's a nice little um, option that you can do with this. So, next up, we can actually also send a signal to a docking module in order to undock whatever is currently docked to that ship. So sending a high signal, such as we have here a pulse limiter, a high pulse limiter, sending a high signal will undock this ship. And for visual representation, I also have it linked up to a push beam um, to push it away. But this ship is docked. And the second I click this button, away goes the ship. So you can do automatic launching drones like that or if you take the output from this into your push beam you can actually have an auto launching shuttle or escape pod so you, you get in the escape pod and as soon as you hit undock you can trigger a push beam that'll send you out away from your ship so that should about cover it for the basics um, activator next to the dock to get an output and any logic circuit can link up and will undock when a high signal is received. So then back here what I have is I just have a, a little simple dock so you open the the hangar blinking lights and then when I dock changes the light colors closes the doors. You know, of course I'd have another way out of this hangar if it was actually in a ship, but as soon as I undock, doors open, lights turn on, and I will show you how to build that. It's it's very simple. Okay, so I removed all the circuitry, and to build this, um, not much. All you need is a clock. So off the docking module, you place your activator, and then this activator is wired into the lights that you want on when the doors are closed, as well as the doors. So now we have a, you know, the most basic, oh, that's not the core I wanted, most basic dock. You dock, the doors close, you undock, the doors open. To wire that into the clock, all you need to do is go off of the activator into an OR. That OR into a knot 
that knot into a delay, and then the delay back into the OR. And cycle it a couple times, and now when this activator is low, the clock will be on, and you just take from the knot block and, oops, wire that into or into your red lights. And you now have the flashing light indicators. And it's that simple to create uh, an automatic shuttle bay for your ship if you want. Um, just open doors. Oh yeah, that's not wired in anymore. Anyway, over here I have a slightly more complex model. Um, not going to show you the step-by-step -step building it in this tutorial. Um, but if anybody's interested, I can do a separate tutorial for it. So this version, the doors will always be closed, and you fly up, open the doors, and then dock. And all the doors will open for a split second. Um, there's no way around that. But the doors will be closed. When you undock, the doors will only be open for a set amount of time. So you gotta undock and leave right away. And this might be handy for um, an automatic departure system too. So you undock, it'll push you out of the hangar and then close the doors behind you. Um, but anyway, you, you, you take off, leave, and then the doors will close. The lights will stop flashing. Um, I'm nitpicky about leaving my hangers open, so I don't like using this model. Um, you just have to have the doors open long enough to get out, or otherwise uh, the doors will close on you. And you might also be able to rig up um, activators too, but that goes in more in-depth. It's uh, less simple. Excuse me. Well, that'll about cover it for logic and docking. I hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.